Hey guys, John here, and as much as we love our scale highlighting, there's another feature that I feel really accompanies that, and I'd like to share that with you today. So, if we're in our piano roll, we click the little triangle arrow here on the left-hand side, and we go to View, and then we go to our scale highlighting, and we can pick our note as usual, and our key, and whatnot. So let's say we go to G, what am I in, G, G minor right here, Aeolian. And then now, all this scale highlighting is in G Aeolian, but if I'm playing on my keyboard, maybe it's in a different key and it can be confusing. So if you don't know, if you can right click this piano here, and then we also select G, and then we also select Aeolian, then now what we're going to be playing is going to be G Aeolian, and it's going to reflect it here in the scale highlighting. So you can always stay in key, and it's, it's very helpful. So if you need to change it, we go to our arrow, we go down to view, and we go to scale highlighting. Let's pick C sharp, uh, let's see, C sharp Arabic. Let's see how that sounds. And then our keyboard's still gonna be in G minor. So let's click this again, and let's go to C sharp Arabic. Now what we play, is gonna be also reflected in the highlighting. So a very useful tip to use those things both at the same time. The scale highlighting is very useful when you're keying stuff in, but if you also wanna play the notes that are highlighted, it's very useful to use this menu right up here. And now in the octave here below it, you can kind of change the pitches if you wanna go place them a little bit higher or lower, then definitely click the different options you have available. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.